back door. Isn't that where deliveries come? <laughs> oh, mushrooms, celery, onions, tomatoes, bread, fresh Parmesan, olive oil. Did I miss anything? Maybe the part where you started moonlighting for Simonella's. Not. <laughs> but it is a beautiful, cold, crisp night with a hint of snow in the air and Christmas right around the corner. Yeah? It's the kind of night my mom used to call a soup night. So I thought soup. I thought aquacotta. I thought Joey, who promised to teach me how to make it. Right. Are you okay? I mean, you just seem a little over the top. <laughs> me? I'm fine. I couldn't be better. I'm... Probably overcompensating. Oh. Well, doesn't that get annoying? Erebus always being onto yourself? <laughs> it can be. But sometimes it's efficient. You know, you slice right through the negative emotion and take action. Like make soup. Learn to make soup. <laughs> Would it be rude for me to ask what you're overcompensating for? Oh, being closer to down than up, I suppose. I'm missing my mother even more than usual this time of year. She was she's very big on Christmas. So I knocked off early and bought out Simonella's and came on over. I didn't call because I didn't want to give you the chance to say no. Huh. I would never say no to a woman bearing fresh Parmesan. I figured. <laughs> okay, what do I do next? Chop. Knives are over there in the top drawer. I hope I didn't invade your evening. I guess not calling was a little rude. Well, I think we're past that now. Anyway, I had a yin for Zupa myself tonight. I just didn't know it until you pointed it out. Besides, I owe you. You do? Yes, I do. For putting up with my obnoxious obsession with Kelly last night at Rhodey's. What else is new? Are you really asking? No, but go ahead. Well... Kelly was with Kevin and Cassie at the carriage house, and I ended up showing up last night late. So I gather it wasn't a positive experience? It was for a while. But you know when sometimes you just lapse back into old behavior when you haven't seen someone? It's not that kind of old behavior. I'm talking about, like, hanging out. <laughs> you know, like watching late-night television. Sharing infomercials, how cozy. Oh, yes. Anyway, it was just sort of like old times. Just watching TV? No conversation? Well, that's where we got into trouble. Well, not trouble, just not what I wanted to hear. Go on. Kelly said that Ian was still very much part of the picture. <laughs> and she uh, expects to continue seeing him. <sighs> Gee, I appreciate the empathy. But... It's not empathy, dope. It's the onion. Oh, it's a serious <laughs> onion. Okay, well, you don't know the trick? Well, my mother used to peel them with a large piece of bread in her mouth, but somehow that just didn't seem sociable. Open up. Close. There. <laughs> Lighten up, woman. It's only soup. Is my imagination, or did this cabbage grow since I bought it? <laughs> I don't think so, but do you want me to get a food processor? Absolutely not. They're wonderful inventions, but no outlet for one's hostilities. You, Dorothy Hayes, have hostilities? Even me, occasionally. Wow. Though I must admit, I do have my mother's temperament. Pretty calm, pretty even. Pretty nice. Actually, everyone in my family is capable of blowing up. So it's true, I am usually the last. Well, your dad seems fairly mellow. As long as he's within his limits. <laughs> I like him a lot. Said you two had a nice chat. Well, he's very forthright. If he doesn't like something, he will definitely say it to your face. Which I think is probably the exact thing that Dorian needs. <laughs> Better than she deserves. Speaking of hostilities. I know Daddy says Dorian has been really good to Kelly. Well, that's true. Because of that, it's been very hard for Kelly to accept the fact that Dorian has a dark side. So that's why I think it's so good 
that your dad and Dorian have a relationship because your dad knows who she is and how she is and accepts the totality. Kelly. Kelly can do that. She would... She'd be a lot better off because maybe she wouldn't always have these unrealistic expectations to get disappointed. <laughs> Kelly has a lot of growing up to do. Something wrong? We all have a lot of growing up to do, Joey. All our lives, even you. <sighs> Specifically? You accept and accept and understand even if it kills you. You care and don't get much back. You offer yourself up and get clobbered. There are limits, and you don't do people favors by letting them stomp all over you. <sighs> you think I do that with Kelly? Or have I just reached the limit of you hearing about it? Maybe both. I mean, you care so much about her. You worry about her feelings and her future. <sighs> Is that so bad? It's not so bad. It's just that she takes what you give her, and all she gives back is, is the information that Mr. British billionaire is still in the running. Look, I hurt Kelly, okay, very badly. And I understand why she doesn't want to just dive into things with me. Fine. But how long can you understand and still keep your self-respect? Well, what do you think I should do? I don't know. Maybe you should tell her off. Maybe you should be a monk. Maybe you should see someone else. Well, do you have anyone special in mind? But there must be somebody in the wide world of single women who has similar interests. Art, cooking, social action, bungee jumping. <laughs> Bungee jumping. Hey, don't knock it till you tried it. Well, I imagine somebody would be up to whatever challenge you might toss at her. Somebody passably attractive who would really enjoy your attention. I don't know. I was thinking about asking the Madonna de Libro out, but I think she's a little too old for me. <laughs> Never stopped you before. Easy. That was a low blow. Taste. Oh, yes. Mm. Close to your mother's acocada? And <laughs> closer, and I'd be crying <laughs> in the soup. Well, what, she mm. use more onions? Not from the onions. From. Sometimes I. I just. I experience her in such a visceral way. It's like she's still in the room with me. Well, maybe she is. I'm not into the supernatural. I'm not talking about a ghost. <laughs> but you know, it's something like the sense of a person. They carry it around with them. And you experience it and carry it back with you. You follow me? Yeah, I do. The good thing is, is that part never dies. It's like, well, it becomes a part of your senses. Well, it's sleeping until uh, someone wakes it up or something. <laughs> like aquacata. Yeah, yeah. Of course, there is a bad side. And that is, well, it's kind of hard to feel it when they're gone. But I think it's a gift, too. <laughs> You're right. Thank you. Yeah, I've actually, I've thought some of that. I just never had the nerve to mention it. <laughs> Look, um, I think I need to clarify something. Dorothy, I like you too much to mess with your head. It's like you say, I'm still very tied up emotionally with Kelly. And, uh, I mean, believe me, I, if that wasn't the case, I'd have been banging at your door by now. Then let me make something clear. 
When I said you might try going out with someone else, I wasn't suggesting me as a candidate. I like you too much to ruin a lovely friendship. Yeah? Eggs. <clears throat> yeah, give them to me. Get the soup. 